I love, come on, let's go. I know it's hot, but you're seated, right? Let's hear some energy. How are we doing, Minnesota State Fair? Wow, that was good. That was really good. Listen, um, thank you for being here for our presentations for Hubbard Broadcasting Day. My name is Matt Belanger, and I do the very, very early, early, early news on Channel 5, 5 Eyewitness News. Is anybody an early riser? Who gets up at like 4 in the morning? Is anybody? A couple of hands. Very nice. Maybe you'll turn on Channel 5. That would be great. Before we uh, start, I have something to give away. I have a prize. I have gone next door to the KSTP building, and I have jammed this bag, a very special edition. Well, there goes my script. Can you grab that? Can you grab that paper for me? Do you mind? Um, A very special edition Television City bag, and in the bag... In the bag, I've got a Seinfeld pasta figurine. (laughs) I've got a water bottle, sunglasses, a spatula, a camp hat, a luggage tag, a pen, and to cap it all off, the Big Bang Theory on Blu-ray. Okay? This bag is stuffed. And I will give this all to the first person who can shout out... Who or what Dan Patch was? I heard you for first. Yes, a racehorse. Excellent. Congratulations. What's your name? Julie. Come on, let's hear it for Julie, folks. All right, so uh, here for Hubbard Broadcasting Day, we're going to host shows on the stage here all throughout the day at the park, Uh, and they're from our brands, our family of brands. So we have KS95 Radio, one of my personal favorites, My Talk 107.1. They're up on the north side if you want to go visit their building, Score North and 1500 ESPN. And then, of course, yes, we have our uh, Five Eyewitness News KSTP building right next door. Hope you go over there and spin the prize wheel. And our friends from our sister television stations, KAAL in Rochester, and WDIO in Duluth are also represented. Um, And a big thanks to our Hubbard Broadcasting Day sponsors uh, helping to make this possible. That's Applebee's, Minji Digestive Health, Donate Life, Center of the American Experiment, Nicolay Law, Health Partners, and Project New Hope. Uh, So stop by all those partner tents around the park here if you can. And uh, yeah, spend... uh, Spend some time with them, learn a little bit, and uh, maybe get a prize. You can stop by the KSTP building next door and spin that prize wheel as well. Um, all right, so who's, who loves KS95? I asked you before, but the crowd is bigger. We have some new folks. Yes, they are, um, they are the Twin Cities' favorite morning drive time team, and you can find them on the dial at 94.5. They continue to be, year after year, one of the top shows in the Twin Cities. And, uh, you know, when you're rolling out of bed and you're going to work and it's Monday morning and you're kind of not feeling it, these are the folks who put the smile on your face and help you have a brighter day. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage KS95's Crisco, Dez, and Wes. Crisco, Dez, and Wes, it's the After Hours Podcast. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you cry, they'll make you wonder why they said that. Woo! We got a big guy, new guy, mom, and a pigeon guy, morning show on KS95. Sit back and relax, because it's time for the After Hours Podcast. Hell yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! Woo! One more! Give it to us again, baby! It's the After Hours Podcast. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Taylor Dez's husband. Yay! Who actually is the, the singer of that song. Yes, so, yes, he, uh, he wrote that song. You didn't spit song. on my microphone, did you? Okay, just a little bit. Perfect. You guys are going to be back here at what time performing live on stage with all of us. We're not going to be performing with you, but we'll yes. be here. We will all be back live at the State Fair, 4 o'clock-ish. Could be a little before. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. it's going to be great. Well, welcome uh, to Hubbard Day. Uh, I didn't even know we had our own day until last year, so that was exciting. Right? Oh, you didn't? I, I mean, I did. I, nobody invites me to things. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We're always like, oh, my God, it's Hubbard Day. And he's like, what? And we're like, nothing. Every we'll, just, time we'll see you Monday. I'd we'll hear rumblings of it, but then they told me the fair was canceled. So I was like, well, that's, <laughs> is, that's weird. That's probably not weird. Shh, it was canceled that one time, remember? 
Boy. Well, speaking of canceled, <laughs> the show's going to be canceled now that we hired Wes. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. Hey. Don't laugh that hard. Don't laugh that hard. It's probably true. I'm just kidding. This, everybody, you this stop. is our new guy, Wes McCain. Yeah. Wesley, if you're nasty. Crisco, you're going to have to refrain from topics like that because my mother's in the audience. Where's and your you mom? know, she gets she really, really, really Where is she? Bon, 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 bon. And that's my nephew. You guys know Aiden. Hi, Aiden. We love you. What's up? But you know how every time I get made fun of, my mom texts me, and she's like, you know I love you, Wesley, right? <laughs> Do you know every time I get made fun of, my mom texts me, they could have gone harder? <laughs> she does. Wait, every time. and my mom doesn't listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's, we have a, a collection of moms, don't we? We do. We do. I'm a little worried for you, Bon Bon, because there's a big guy sitting to the left of me that's real into you and your bookstore. I will be honest. (laughs) I have always had a thing for older ladies and a piece of book. I don't know if you get a piece of book. I haven't had a book in a long time. I'm just saying. You are wearing the hell out of those glasses, is all I'm saying. <laughs> he doesn't just, read, nor has he had a piece I'm of I'm not even hot up here. I'm just sweaty because I saw Bon Bon over there. Speaking of hot, uh, we were going to have Tom Bernard on, but obviously he's got way more fans than we do. So do we want to start with hot sauce, or what do you guys want to start Let's with? Start, on the no, he'll be up here. We can get okay, Tom Bernard. No, he's he's, 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 he's still going to finish up. Oh, yes, okay, we're just kidding. We don't have Tom. He canceled us. Wait, wait. Let, let, let's start it the right way because I don't know if you guys have noticed Crisco's got a new facial hair uh, <laughs> masterpiece, a Thank follicle you. masterpiece. Some yeah, even what call do you it. call it? Uh, it's the Big Stash Energy. <laughs> I haven't named it yet, though. <laughs> should I, what should I name my mustache? We should do that at the fair. Name my mustache. Name oh. his stash. Don't, nobody can use sad. Nobody can nickname it sad. Depressed. No, Although that's I, me. I see Embarrassing. A, yep, that's me. I see I a gentleman done. out there that has a way better mustache than you have right back by the umbrella there. Look oh, at that. did you want to measure mustaches oh, since uh, you shaved damn. yours and then went oh, back to a beard because your wife? Yeah, Is that what it was? My wife promised to never, ever be intimate with me again if I t- <laughs> And to be fair, mustache. she didn't even know you had a mustache. <laughs> she just said that in general. She's like, oh. Okay, but I bring up the mustache because Pidge is a way better friend of Crisco, obviously, than I am. Oh, so he better. grew a mustache. You probably cannot see it from the audience, all right? Um, oh, no. Guys. He makes it better. I mean. Thank you. Yes. You can make it oh. better, though, right? Um, Pigeon, did you bring the stuff? Can I do this stuff for you? A Honey. lot of people may oh, not I know have that Pidge, because oh, he can't grow much of a mustache, puts right. mascara into his mustache every day in the bathroom at KS95. I called him the other day in the bathroom putting mascara on it. The thing is, he doesn't use, like, ladies, you probably know better than I, there's, like, a waterproof one for crying or sweating. He doesn't use that one. So with how hot it is out here today, he's definitely going to have a goatee by the end of this show. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like a super great idea, and I think he mistakenly took Sammy's good one again. He did. Yeah, so I, I don't know what's happening, but hi. She's, she's putting on mascara onto the lovely mustache, and it then you've got to go out there. and. It is a good mascara, see? I can tell, but it is far too dark for his little, it's kind of a little red situation. While you're now. putting that on, I do want to welcome everybody who's walking up. It's Crisco, Dez, Wes, and Pidge with the Crisco, Dez, and Wes After Hours podcast. Okay. We're, uh, right, we're just there. putting on a little mustache action because this is uh, what we do on stage for Hubbard Days. Can you throw right, go out there? Go out there. Or go just out there. Go out there? Yeah, just go out here. One go day. Here. We can't afford two days. One day. What do you better? think? Does it look better? Thank this you. lady right in front is like, absolutely not. No. no <laughs> my, like, God, that's terrible. My favorite <laughs> comment, I heard somebody go, eh, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. That's what we actually tag this show as. It's good enough. We just try to do our thing. Not, it's good. I don't know. It's. You know what? It goes so good with your mustache. Is it my Kool Aid tongue? <laughs> it's your Kool Aid tongue and teeth and braces. Is it on my All teeth bright red too? and your mouth. Oh, like I should. Somebody should have told me that. Well, what do you say? Like, there's nothing that we can do until oh, we're sorry. live on our podcast. <laughs> That's I when see. I tell him. It's fine. It's, you, you, it's fine. You beautiful. It's probably fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, are we? Do you have the next thing ready, or are uh, we waiting for Tom? I mean, we can hey, go. I think, I think Tom's going to be up here any second. Okay. Yeah, okay Tom is going to be up here any second. He has second. way too many fans. This We're, is what yes. it's like to have fans. Okay. Stop. Stop <laughs> talking is, to Tom Bernard, everybody. Yeah. We don't. We don't get. We don't do that. People yeah. don't line up for us. No, they actually <laughs> avoid us. Oh my All gosh. Right. We, love we love you. you. Yay! DJ Emerson, everybody. <laughs> DJ Emerson. Woo! Okay, I All think right. we're ready. Ladies. Think, are we ready, Ross? Ross, stop Can talking we... to him. Bring, let him come up here. Two, For the love of everything. John. Two, three. Oh, never mind. Tom Bernard! Bernard everybody! everybody! 
Do you know how Yay. you get him out of a crowd? Just shout his name. Yeah. Here he comes, everybody. Make some noise for Tom Bernard. Woo! Woo! This is the most famous person we've ever had yeah, on our it podcast. Is. There's only one reason that anybody's here right now, and it's because you're here. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. Nice. Do I get to sit here? You, you sit do. Right there. Thank God I get to sit down with the KS95 Morning Show, number one rated show in the Twin Cities. Well, that's because you left. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, the show sucked when I was in the building. <laughs> Oh, all right. So how is it out there meeting and greeting with all of your adoring fans? It's one of the things in my life that, I, you know, you never know that's going to happen. You guys have been through this. You never know the people are that loyal and just sweet and you know, taking pictures and hugging everybody. And uh, there was a, a lovely, I don't know if I see her out there. She's probably out there somewhere, but she just lost her mother and she started crying and said, I had to come and see you. I mean, oh. those kind of people... I, why would you not want to do this for the rest of your life, right? That's why Sid did it till he was 100 years old. <laughs> you know? It's easy It's easy to do it for memories like that and moments like that all the yeah. time. So, Were you guys here for Tom Bernard's podcast? Make some noise. Awesome. He, uh, he's got a great podcast. <laughs> I, live it too, I listen to it every day. Uh, but since a lot of you weren't here for this, I'm going to tell the story again that I just said. I uh, grew up being a huge fan of Tom Bernard, and that's the reason I got into radio. And... Uh, I met him at RenFest like two weeks ago, and a great guy. I was like, man, this guy is awesome. He's a legend. I'm fangirling. So I inboxed him on Facebook, as any 48-year-old man should do, is get into another man's DMs. Yeah, you slid <laughs> I did. in. I slid into his DMs. You slid hard, too. I slid like, hard. so yeah. hard. Real you, hard. He's he saying read it DM, to us. by the way. Yeah, DM. DM, not BM. That's, that's <laughs> Crisco's. Crisco's BM. Yeah, clear. <laughs> you slid into my BM. That's not right either. Uh, so I slid into his DMs, and I told him what, what a Great pleasure it was to meet him, and he, he got back to me right away. And then he put on Facebook, I'm super excited to have Crisco and Dez on my podcast. That's who I told was coming on. And to be fair, Boy. he was super excited for us. You just also were on the podcast. He just wasn't as excited for you. It's not a big deal. It's true, okay, and he good, just couldn't good. remember your you name. Know. And that's what it was. I was like, all right, he couldn't remember my name. It's fine. And then uh, he had to correct the time, so Tom put on there again. I can't wait tomorrow. I've got Crisco and Dez on my podcast. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Nope. Nope. I think that I, means it's more inner work for you. <laughs> yes, I am embarrassed for you. No, I like, <laughs> should be embarrassed for you. Yes. <laughs> he walks right into it. Oh. He did. He got into, into it by it. listening to Tom Bernard. I got into radio because I thought, what other career could make me barely pay my bills every month? And that's why <laughs> no, I got no, into radio. No, it's just That's the whole deal. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's that's great exactly other than that. what it is. No, you know, honestly, God, I'm so glad you guys came in and did this show because, once again, I, and I'm not going to keep pushing on this subject, but I, I cannot stand how much people are mean to one another now. I mean, yes, I suppose we would be competitors because I'm on for one hour of your show or, or whatever it is at the same time. But that's not how this world works anymore. We got to get along. Did I bore you that much, sir? <laughs> I mean, he said he can't believe he's seeing you, but then he also was walking away while you were talking. <laughs> This is not the ghost of Tommy B. This is the real deal. I'm so emotional. I actually have to head to my car real quick. I'll be back. I was like, they could go one of two ways. Can't believe I'm seeing you. That guy owes me money. That guy owes me cash. I thought he was going to say it, but I really need a beer. But he has a fresh one in his hand. That is a great business, though. You meet all these wonderful people at the State Fair, and they're so sweet to you. and, And it just, I mean, taking the pictures of everybody down there, it just... This one woman started crying, as I said, and they're just such nice people. And that's the kind of thing that I really wish the two, you know, the Republicans and the Democrats would do. Why don't you show somebody you like instead of everyone you hate? I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear how much you hate everybody. I mean, it's so sad that, and truly, uh, you know, speaking on that for a second, it's so sad that, like I said uh, before, you have to have a national travesty happen for people to come together and and combine their love of everything. And then it's like a couple months go by and it just goes away. So it it is good to see that changing a lot for hopefully for the better for everybody. Well, it's starting all here. So why can't it be everywhere? Yeah, it should be everywhere. Honestly, our listeners, your listeners, my listeners, some of them listen to both, which is a good thing. I mean, you are great people for coming out and there, sitting in the sun, watching a bunch of dopes on stage. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. yes. What does nice. that say for you guys? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't hear no. that. What would you say? 
No, they're like, we just saw a bench, and we were really tired, and you guys are just there. <laughs> we're just I a free it. entertainment. That's yeah. all it is. You just happen to be talking. Yeah. I love that. That works for me. <laughs> me for too. Sure. It's how we've built our whole show and our careers. <laughs> well, we, we all did that. That's very, very true. But, yeah, I just, it was very important, and I think it's, it's going to become more and more important to just... Yeah, we do compete for one hour of their show, but not really. They have their audience. I have my audience. Uh, some of you listen to both shows. That's a wonderful thing. But look, I mean, these people have been so nice to me, except when Des tried to choke me when I put a turkey leg in her face. But other than that, I shouldn't have done it. I That's nice in some circles. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. That I'm really true. Glad, glad, though, that Wes came because he's like, I'm not coming. Forget about it. <laughs> So now i got to go on social media and go, you know who's the best person on that show? Wait a minute. You can't say that about him. I thought it was me. No, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, all three. I'll well, go with all three. After I, mean, I we probably did, didn't make it. It's fine. I'm okay with it. After we did your podcast and we're standing back here, these guys called me out and they were actually right that if I just held out, that then you would beg me. And I could be like, yeah, Tom Bernard begged me to yeah, be on his did. podcast. It was awesome. To be fair, he <laughs> begged you after he said, remind me who Wes was. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, that's the story. That's the story. He's like, oh, that's the you story. said Wes, Wes McWhat? I don't remember who it was. McMuffin? Or? Oh, that's awesome. Well, oh. I think it's so cool that you stayed and you came on our little dog and pony podcast chris godez and west after dog hours we appreciate the number one rated it. show in the market dog <laughs> no, and pony not, not our podcast, podcast. Not po- nobody listens to our podcast yeah, not the podcast yeah. nice we try. actually don't even know if we power the podcast <laughs> yeah. on to be fair Is so this well, on? i'll tell you what it's going to be a crossover because eventually it's going to be that whole situation <laughs> yeah. you never know perfect. Aww. No, it is, but uh, but this is a, a prime example of what I'm talking about. These are some of my favorite people in the world, and this is how the world should be. Yes, we do compete for one hour of their show, but as I met each one of these people, I, they're the, some of the nicest people in the world. And like I said, uh, you know, Meat Sauce over on KFAN, I've loved that kid. He was a, a 16 years old working at a cigar store when I met him, <laughs> and their show does extremely well as well. That's how I want the world to work. Just because you're a Democrat or a Republican, you don't have to hate the other people. Relax. <laughs> be a better example. For I mean, you guys are a perfect example of how America should be. Because I figured when they said, well, why don't you come on our show? I go, well, because people will walk out. <laughs> but then they didn't. <laughs> Which I'm real happy about. Well, I mean, a few did. <laughs> <laughs> she will never leave me alone. That's just how she is. Constant attack. How many years have you been attacking me now? I mean, I've been in the Twin Cities working at KS95 for almost 23 years in November. You have, really? I know. I started when I was 24. three years old. I was three. <laughs> okay. Oh, you were three. Okay. So you're 20, yeah, yeah three. you're 26. <laughs> Where'd your husband go? My he's, husband... He was getting more beer, yeah. I think. I saw more Oh, there he is beer. back there. there I see. Got, yeah, he got another beer. Out. My show ended and there started to be a left. That was not very nice. <laughs> Funny story, Tom. The other day we were at the KS95 booth, which will be there right after this. Yes. And a girl came up and she said, I'm 22. Des, I've been listening to you since I was six. And I'm like, <laughs> I, that is, makes me feel very good. But I'm like, holy bleep. <laughs> holy bleep. I am old. <laughs> well, she immediately followed it up with, Sadly, my father died of COVID, and you're like a father figure to me. And I was like, huh. I know that's supposed to be a compliment, but I'm like, I'm yeah, a I'll... father figure to anybody outside of my Aww. own children? No, it really is, though. I think it's cool. And she, you know why, though? She said that he tells horrible dad jokes. I do. Like do her dad did. Horrible yeah. dad joke? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a dad. I am a dad. I have three kids. How old are your kids? Uh, 22, and then uh, 18 <laughs> and 17. God, it's a, it's a great time period. Yeah. That's a great time of life. Though. Well, I better get out of you guys where you got a show to do wow. and it's now I always like find people. You preached about being all nice, and all we ever do is make fun of each other. So the rest of this podcast is going to be hard. I know. I have nothing <laughs> but poopy potty jokes in my phone, and I'm like, wait, Tom, oh, man. I'm like, oh. totally be nice. Is Tom out of the way? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Where> it smells. <laughs> no, oh, oh, thank God. you, Tom Bernard. Yeah, yeah, give it up for Tom Bernard. The thank you. Everybody, let's the make legend. some noise. Twin Cities legend right there. Thanks, yes. Tom. Thank you. So Tom. cool. Appreciate it, buddy. We love you. <laughs> Where's Pigeon? All right, Is he coming the back? Pigeon. He can fly back up here. Oh, yeah, I want a hug. Getting hugs. All right. So we got a few things <laughs> that we're going to do on the podcast okay. today um, that are... Are what? Very poopy potty. Poopy potty? Yeah, I mean, the, a lot of... <laughs> oh, by far, it's Des. It's Des. Wait, what? 
Who's it? I didn't he, hear. Said, he said he wanted to do the hand over our head. Who's the favorite? I said we don't have to do that. Oh. It's Dez. It's, we both know it's, it's Dez. It's because I'm the only girl, and you guys have to be. Well, I'd say nice okay. to me, but I'll be honest. Not. Tom left, and now the crowd's gone. So yeah, I don't know, know if that's a good sign or not. So I am such a wimp when it comes to heat, and I think we just go right into this now. Should we do it? Yeah. So I'm going to hand you guys. We're going to start with that one. Somebody was kind enough to drop off hot sauces, and so I thought, I mean, what better time to do it than on stage at the fair when it's 90? Okay, and just to, so you know, I like hot sauce. I do, too. You do, too, Pidge. Not it, so much. And Crisco it, hates it. I, I don't hate it. I just It hates me. And so the funny part is, though, isn't that weird? Do you find with, like, people who love hot sauces? Like, Des loves hot sauce, but there are certain things I can eat that she won't eat. Remember the, the wild wing rub that was at uh, a restaurant we went to? Yep. She was like, oh, it's so hot, and we got to eat the rest of them. Yeah, I didn't think true. it was hot one bit. So I think it's just it your preferential day. taste. But <laughs> one of these is called Sweet Habanero, ten times the level of a normal habanero hot That'd sauce. That'd be that one. This company is called, is it Double Take Salsa Company? Yes. We don't nope. have chips. We just have spoons. We're just, we do have confetti, though. What so if we, we just, just take it like shots? In there. What if we just take them like shots? Nope. No. I, we have a spoon. Okay, so what should we do first? Are we do, we'll Let's do, do the, the, mild the, the mild one. The mild one, which is the middle, the green one. Go right for the hot one, right? Yeah. Okay, just a little bit. Don't I can't okay. do hot sauce. Oh, my God. I can't do anything You're spicy. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, but I'm just saying. I don't know how Des has had kids this long. He's spilled everywhere. Oh, do we not have... Are we? Oh, we're going. Okay. I just want to... Yeah, that's hot. And that's the mild oh one? Oh, my God. I need some. That so, one's a mild oh, one. Oh, I need, I need beer. I need, this is the most mild oh. one there is. Oh. It is hard to oh. put... There you go. Oh, shoot. I Can you like do mine? Do it together. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we'll get to the red one. This one smells really good. So this That was one is a level like, one, and it already has heat. Cilantro avocado. Oh, I did not like it. Dude, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Oh. Thing. Don't worry. That we only have so one that's good. ten times hotter. Oh, I'm taking this really? one with me. Okay, well, sure. this is my hot sauce, so nope. you have to ask. Not anymore. So it's our not- afternoon show, Stacey and Hutch did their uh, podcast out here a couple yep. hours ago, and they ate. Isn't it really weird to just watch people on stage eat? Yeah. It's a little I bit mean, weird, it, right? It's funny, though, if we're in pain, right? It's funnier, it's when, funnier we get paid. when we're in like, pain. Yeah, we're, I can't wait to see these guys freak out when they have the hot one. That's I'm telling one. you. That's the middle did one? you already have the middle one, Dis? Yep, I just want a little bit. Don't pour a lot. Don't pour a lot. I'm not going to be able to do this. God. That one is less spicy. It says it's mild. That one is less spicy. Oh, it's that's a not, smoky that one's one. Not, that's no. very smoky. Yeah, that's just smoky. This is, it's got a little sting right off the bat. The one that, I, oh, oh, never mind. It might be kicking in. It does hit you in the back of the mouth, Whoa. you know? Mm-hmm. Wow. This, this sweet habanero 10 times is oh, going God. to kill you. So I'm let's be start. Honest. You want me to go first? Because I, uh, I like hot. You want me to go yeah. first? Just a little bit. Just a little dab will do you. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Let me go first. Wait, go last, Crystal, because I think you're gonna freak out. Give me your, give me your spoon, little buddy. Should, I might oh, have look, to. That one is how, the hottest. Look oh, how cute you your moose is. I took it. Is it bad? I'm gonna wait to do it. Okay, with three, two, one, oh, pitch. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait. Okay. You already did it. I did it. Oh, okay. okay. Ready? Cheers. You're gonna love it. Oh Whoa. my God! <laughs> uh, oh my God! Oh no! Oh my God! Oh. Why did we do that? Do you guys ever watch the Hot Ones podcast where they <sighs> do that? And they I would tell anybody on? anything right now. Well, the worst thing bad. about that sauce is not eating it, and the pain I feel now, it's the pain I know is inevitable. I used to, the first one was and the that's hottest. That's exactly why you should stop me. by the Minji tent, because there is colon health for everybody. You're probably like, don't that. do that. You're going to do the hot one again? Oh, I don't think it really got That's what a colon looks like after you eat that third hot sauce. We should have done that right at the very end. Oh, that was terrible. Pitch is going to drink it. No! Devin! <laughs> you are going to be on a toity for the whole afternoon. This one isn't, the first one was the Ooh. hottest one to me. That one's going to be the gift that keeps on giving later for you. Oh, it, like it expands. It's like a, like That's a weird. hot sauce bomb. Nah, it wasn't oh, that bad. It wasn't bad. Dang. Oh, I mean, I'm sweating a little more than I was. Okay. My mouth is a little hot. Ooh. but Wow. I'll be honest with you. I don't know why we did that. I don't either. It was your idea, it was your idea. No, I thought it would be a good reaction. And it it's was slowly but kicking terrible. in. Ooh. Okay. We're going to okay. do Never okay. Have I Ever. Pidge wanted to do Never Have I Ever. You're going to have to do it now with a hot mouth. I don't want to do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bad. That's oh. a bad idea. That with a hot out. mouth. Is anybody else? You, you had the hot sauce? It's real hot. Why did I do it? My eyes help? burn. Beer will not help. Oh, God. Beer makes it worse. We you need to can't milk. leave the stage. Your ADD is kicking in again. Okay. No, it's you. the hot sauce is kicking well, in. You took it like yeah. a shot. That was your own fault. <sighs> okay, so Beer what do really we do? Help? Never Have I Ever. So you have to admit whether you did this or not. Okay. Never have I ever quietly farted in the studio at work <laughs> and blamed it on one of the other people on the show. Crisco. I have never. Liar. I haven't. No, the only one I told, I have ever told you the story. 
So I oh, had, that's a funny I had story. A, I had a real rough day. Let's just say that. Uh, and it had nothing to do with hot sauces, but it was the guy who worked here before Wes. And I thought everybody had left for the day, and I was working. Oh, no. And so I might have had a moment. And as soon as the moment happened, within 10 seconds, he came back in. And he was like, hey, I went, oh! Yeah, it really doesn't help. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Awful. Awful experience. I couldn't stop oh. laughing. It was very funny. Oh. Des, never have I ever quietly farted at work and blamed it on somebody else? Never. I am a lady, and if anything Liar. of that happens, you go put it where it goes, which You're is a saying, bathroom. Are you only put saying that because Taylor's right over there? No, he, we are not a 2D couple. I can tell you that. Okay. That takes the sexiness you know right out tell, of it. You know who says I, we're no, not a 2D no, couple? No, no. Is the couple, couple who's always in front of them like, bro. No. I never fart in front of my wife either, right, Marie? Yeah, right. <laughs> these three, I have learned, these three, the moment I leave to go somewhere, they all just... Let her rip. It's called breaking the barrier in a relationship. And it's once the, you break the barrier, you can be comfortable with each other and you can share it's anything. It's the male version Never. of Frozen. We just let it go. Never, ever break the barrier with me. I like you guys right here. Pidge, okay. have you oh. ever? What helps hotness? He's, I don't think he I'm should not, be involved. I, 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 what, just answer the I, question. No, I yes never have. No. I never, never have. have. Okay. Cut. All right. All right. Never have, have I ever gone two days without changing my underpants. Des. If I was, I'm going to be honest, I feel like I've been on a trip or forgotten, man, people think that's real funny. Uh-oh. No, like on a trip or something, and I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't bring any underwear, so you do the old flipperoo, so it's fresh <laughs> on the <flip-a-roo>. side. <laughs> Ladies, you know what you. I'm talking about. I'll be honest with you. Ladies might oh, know, but God. guys my size know you can't flipperoo. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you right now, it does not help on the other side. So you've worn the same underwear for two days, Crisco? I mean, I have. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend. I, I wasn't on a trip. It was just in my basement. But I did. He didn't want to go upstairs. It's probably fine. Pitch? No, <clears throat> no I would rather go naked than uh, wear them again. That's true. Twice. Yep. Are you, are you okay? He's I love that every answer is like, I'm blowing my nose and my no. mascara is really? coming off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pitch, we start with oh, you on no. this one. Never have I ever used somebody else's toothbrush. I think I have. Not often, but probably. Yeah. Let's go. I have not used so many toothbrushes to my knowledge. This one I saved specifically. <laughs> Des going last. Des? I think my husband isn't paying attention. We are disgusting. I don't know how it happened, but we have one of those electric toothbrushes. And there was two at one time. There's only one now. They and share a toothbrush a, every day. We share it every day, every morning, every night. And there's a little toothbrush fairy that comes in and puts a new top on it every now and then. Uh, he's a toothbrush fairy. <laughs> I don't even know where I they mean, are. Dez's argument to that is, oh my gosh, we make out anyway. We're a couple. Yeah, but you don't share plaque and tartar and gingivitis. I also yeah. have been known to share toothbrushes with my best friends, my sister, really we, anybody who will have me. Everything. <laughs> no, I will. I will share it. I know people are going, oh my god, you're disgusting. I get it. I am disgusting, and I'm fine with it, and I have really good teeth. My I mean, she is from Wisconsin, sense. so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> I'm from Montana, which also makes sense. So it's also the same Summer thing. teeth area. Wisconsin, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. Never have I ever... Oh, my lip is burning. ...chewed off yeah. one of my own toenails. Crisco. I have not been able to see my feet since I was six, so <laughs> it's definitely not me. I am definitely not chewing off toenails. <laughs> I'm a chewer of things, but no, I've, I've never done that. Pidge? No. <laughs> Are you going to be all right? I'm, gonna, I'm fine. I'm just working my way out of it. Why did I drink my drink before we got through this? I don't know. All right, final one for never have I ever. Okay. Never have I ever called in sick and then sat at home or went to a bar to drink? Set. Never. Called in sick drink. and sat at called home? Called in sick and then sat at home to drink or went or to a bar? Home. No, no, no. Not to stay at home and drink I mean, or anything. Yeah, I was going to say, I sat at home and did a lot of other things, but I've definitely called in sick, not <laughs> yeah. my alcohol. Like, what other things? <laughs> I mean, I would, I, I've taken days off for video games, but not to drink. <laughs> if one like, version is sad, is another version yeah. of sad. Yeah, they're both sad. <laughs> I mean, I, you can call me sad. I wasn't taking a day off to go drink, though, so that's good. Okay. That might have been rock bottom, I feel like. I don't know. <sighs> I feel like that hot sauce burned my throat. Yeah, we should have done that right at the end. That was yeah, stupid. That should have been the last Ooh. thing. It's cooling off now, though, kind of. Maybe. All right. Is there a person that listens to Chris Go, Dez, and Wes on the regular and listens to the After Hours podcast and knows the show really well and would like to come up on stage There's and be part of the show? one of them. It's, <laughs> nobody wants to come up and play this with us? What's right, the game? Ben, it's never, it's not saw... never have I ever. This is a different, whole different one. What's it, the game? Maybe it should be an adult. Yeah, it's got to be an think? adult because yeah. we're, we're probably going to be a little You're bit You're too cool for us, dude. Yeah. yeah. You're way too cool. There nobody was, wants to come there up? There was somebody back there. Where's somebody Sammy? back there. Who wants to? <laughs> now she's like, nope, don't look at me anymore. 
Sammy. Come so on, out of all these no. people here, we don't have one person who I knows mean, Chris Cornell's I kind of feel like if nobody wants to volunteer to do oh, you have to come up and do it? Yes, all come right, on. Come on up here on the stage. Yes. You have to come up around the side. I can escort you. Oh, shoot. Now there's two people coming. Oh, we can, can have we two. It's fine. We, it's fine. we can have two. We need you both. Come on up. We need come you on both. Up. Yep. Des, move over so we can this have a This is quite chair. literally our two listeners. Yep. So we can have two okay. share because they're going to have to share your microphones. Come on up here. You can walk around that thing, guys. Our security is not top standing notch. there. They'll let you know. Come on up. All right. These yeah, are questions like how well you know members it. of the show. Yeah, you okay? guys can sit. Take a seat. So you can sit next to Crisco because you're going to have to share a microphone seat? with him. Good. Nice to meet you. What's your name? April. April. All right. Nice to meet you. First of all, this is April. He does. What's your name? April. Emily. Emily is April. here with us. April, April and Emily. And Emily. My sister's name is April. And if you are as bossy as she is, then you need to get off this stage. <laughs> and my hamster's name is Emily. So. Not quite as bad. Help yourselves to have some hot sauce if you'd like. Woo! All, All right, right. First question doing? for is it April and Emily, right? Yep. April April and Emily, and I haven't been drinking yet. <laughs> Who on the show, Emily, has the most tattoos that are not visible right now? Who do you think on the show has the most tattoos that are not visible at this very moment? Crisco. Not visible? Crisco. April? I would say Des. Des. Crisco, how many tattoos do you have that are not visible right now? Obviously, you got your arm tattoo. I have two, technically. Two. One. <sighs> On both of the guns. Sun's out, guns out. You can't see it. It's fine, probably. Des? I have currently the ones that are hidden. One, two, three, four, boom, boom. five. April one. And if I'm in real shoes, six, seven. <laughs> real, real? Oh, really? Yeah, but I'm in flip-flops, so only five currently. Yay, April wins that one. That's I actually not right. My arms, that yeah. is actually oh, not correct. Is it you? Oh, Wes has one. I have way more than, than uh, Des has. Where under, are they? All on no. my torso and stuff. <laughs> How you many? Have, how many? Is it, uh, are they all one, just brownie faces by now? Or? I mean, you can kind of oh. see that. Three, four, five, <gasps> six, seven. Oh, well, Don't we, tell my mom. I'll, Don't tell my bon mom. Bon Bon is here. Look at Bon Bon. Yeah, I know you know her head in disappointment for April the entire show. April just said she doesn't know that yet about you. That's why. <laughs> I'm covering up barbed wire, by the way, because I was Pamela Anderson in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, I'd cover all that right. up forever. <laughs> I'm dying. Who on the show, April and Emily, has popped somebody else's pimple? Who on the show has popped somebody else's pimple for them? Des would totally do that. Des. Oh, I know. Who? Des. Des. They both think they me. They both think Des. Des, have you ever popped somebody else's pimple? Yes. <laughs> your husband, Taylor's, or your no. children? Not my ch my children are five and nine. That's I think true. They, they don't pimples get pimples yet. yet. But my friends. <laughs> Why do you get your friends? You that? know I like that pimple popper show. It's so sick. I think sick. she's popped like a pimple of mine. I actually think I have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a helper. I don't one want of those you little to walk. Sneakers that she got. Yeah. I don't want you to walk around looking all pimply. Yeah. God forbid. Ew. <laughs> Dude, don't say you. There's probably people with pimples. Well, on we all house. have them, but we then just need to take care of them, right? I have right. never popped anybody else's pimples, so so far. What about you? what about back knee? Go ahead oh, and get gross. in there. Ew. I don't have any. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm joking. It does. So yes, totally. you won that. You guys both got one. That one right. Des would be the right what? answer. Oh no! I, all right. I am so gross up right now. They're tied. <laughs> they are tied. <laughs> no, can you do that? All right. Who on the show? <laughs> Has been in handcuffs, either by the police or just for fun. <laughs> okay, we'll go over here Wes. first. I'm going to guess Des. Des, yes. Wes. Des. She says Wes. So you say Des. Emily says Wes. April says Des. No, Des. Oh, you said Des. And you said Wes. Yep. He's been drinking. I'm sorry. No, I haven't. It's hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yeah, it's the hot sauce. I'm impaired. What's the answer? I have never been in handcuffs. Didn't you put me in handcuffs? I did put you. Well, don't Crisco, say it so weird. That did I say a Didn't weird? Didn't you put me in handcuffs, Crisco? He, he did a citizen's <laughs> arrest one time when I'd done something illegal. Oh yeah, said. like the last time you had to go in handcuffs and you got arrested for not paying your tax. Anyways, that we are not legally allowed to talk no, about. No, we're that. not. It's not done with this day in court. But okay, so who was right? You, uh, yeah, yeah. Emily. 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 You get a T-shirt by the way for winning this. By the way, you do we have a score? It's two to one. Two, two to one. one. Yep. Okay, who on the show has had more alcohol than coffee this week? Okay. Do you want to start over there think? first? Somebody's yelling Des from the crowd. Des. That was actually Taylor yelling Des. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not Wes. I would say Des. Des, have you did had you, coffee? Did you just say definitely not Wes? He drank. You'd be wrong. Uh, the, You'd yes. be wrong on he that one. He said he does not drink. I wouldn't ever he say I don't drink. You had just, drink. Just yeah. today. No, not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Not today. I would say Wes and I would probably tie on that Ty, one. I haven't had any coffee this week. 
I have oh, no wait, wait, I take that. I take that back. I didn't have any Thursday because we were here. Yeah. And I'm only counting since we've been at the fair, but definitely more alcohol than coffee count? this week. We decide that at the Is fair, it? it's fine. We drink every day. I That's haven't had totally any coffee different this week. than any other I, day. I, than any other day, no, for sure. Take my mic. <laughs> 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 you just talked right over poor oh, bitch. sorry. No, it's his fine. His question was, saying. does anybody hear me? I'm up here. <laughs> he goes, I haven't had any any coffee. And as he was saying, can anybody hear me? You talked right over him. Right. You're like, Matt, her son, mama's had herself a few mimosas oh on the way. And, oh, what? No, I didn't. It's okay. No, I don't. All right. Let's do it. So oh, what's the story? What do we got? here for you. We are oh, tied. We are tied. Okay, this is, this is the tiebreaker then. This is the game winner. Who on the show knows how their parents made them? Oh, my gosh. A lot oh of crying. Oh, boy. <laughs> a lot of crime. Oh <laughs> is it a lot of crying? Oh, boy. Yeah. Who right. on the show knows Emily, how their parents made them? What do you think, Emily and, and April? It's, hard when I, it's right I'm here. It's Paige. right here. I'm going to say Pidge. Pidge's parents. Oh, boy. I don't know. I'm pulling a blank at this one. You just got to say one of our three. Any name. name. Yeah, Yeah, what do you think? Crisco. Crisco. All right. Crisco, do you know how your parents made you? Uh, Sadly. I know how they made them, too. (laughs) No, I'm You do? I have to bring my mother up here because I don't. But maybe Bon Bon, you want to come up here and share how it was made? (laughs) Bon Bon, I'll be honest with you. I would love to hear how you you made Wes. (laughs) Of course you would, you pervert. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Do you have a book on it, though? No, it's No. She would Fine. say when two people love each other, <laughs> there's a thing and another thing, and the things happen. And then... Wait, now slow down. Tell me again. <laughs> I know, buddy. I'll draw you was, a diagram. I failed health class. I'll draw you Please. a diagram later. So many weird things. <laughs> I do not know how I was made. I thought it was at a camp site. No, that was my brother. Oh. And my oh. mom, that was, I know how my brother and my sister were made, but not Ew. me. A lot, okay. of, a lot of my life was a mistake, so my parents tried not to tell me about it. Okay. But it's fine, probably. All right. <laughs> I do not. You do not. I do not know how my I am here. I Pidge, mean, Pidge, you know. Yep. Oh. Okay. My parents made love. <laughs> that's all I know. Oh come on. That's oh, not yeah, right. Okay, so I don't know then. I don't. I don't know. Ty so don't have a winner. So ask another question. Then. Yeah, oh, we have to go. To, I'm sorry, my that mom and dad didn't big... sit me down at the kitchen table yeah, and explain it... how things worked out. Is that a normal thing to know? Like no. how you were conceived? No, I hope not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I, I guarantee it was probably under 60 seconds, but I know that it <laughs> oh, happened. God. I mean, it was probably oh, a thing. It's like no, father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That's a good one, right? It was. <laughs> okay, okay. April's You're my favorite person. She laughs at my really stupid jokes. Can you have another question? Or they could both be winners, you know. Why don't you just that do that? That could be a thing. Well, okay. no, I want one more. <laughs> I want one more. You guys you want to battle won. it out, or do you both you want, want a T-shirt to, as yeah. a winner? You both get a shirt. Both. Okay. You both oh, want it. Yes. Okay. I like ties. Yay. Yay. All right. You guys get to pick April a T-shirt. April and Emily right both get there. a T-shirt. Congratulations. Yay. You can either have the Crisco Desen West T-shirt or the Taylor Young T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and really... But yeah. if you wear the Taylor Young shirt, you have to cut it off the way Where are you guys going? <laughs> Why are you leaving? It's not over yet. Don't worry, we're almost done. No, it's no. Stay, <laughs> sit back. We have three minutes left. That's and okay. Well, have a good honestly, one. we did this way longer than we thought we, we were actually, going to. We did, so we should probably wrap it up. We yeah, should. Well, we only have like two seconds here left anyway. So yes, thank you guys all for coming out here and being bored by us. We appreciate it. <laughs> um, if you are uh, extremely bored, again, you can download this through ks95.com. You can yes. listen to it. You can listen to all of our other podcasts, and you can follow us if you want to the KS95 booth, which we're going to be at till right when we come back at four o'clock for Des and Taylor performing live right here back on this stage. Thank you guys so much. We will. Less talking, more singing. Much more singing. (laughs) Thank you, guys.